my father nowhere to be found you know why he was nowhere to be found i just got a relationship with him a few months ago because my mom told me my dad wasn't to keep me away from my dad i'm 26 bro i finally talked to my dad he's a good dude my mom told me my dad has not paid child support since i was a kid mm. i finally meet this he has a like envelopes full of shit proof showing he's been paying child support i keep trying to tell y'all there's so many of you guys out there that need to get the full story from y'all fathers the full unadulterated truth hear the story of one of our Maytow brothers he says yes i was born and raised in the golden state I went Maytow long before the term was coined. I had enough broken relationships with women and was tired of cleaning up after them. So I became a full-time mid tow practitioner. I discovered a few things about women as I began to attract the attention of more and more women. The idea that women would approach me in places they hadn't before was initially perplexing. I was recently approached by a few nines after previously dating only fives, and now I realize how foolish I was to waste my time on ladies who weren't worth it. We spend most of our time with female friends either idle chatting or listening to each other's woes. Some men have even told me that they wish they could devote their time and energy to reading and fitness rather than women. They started to understand my point of view on Mito and eventually agreed with me. Straight men are frequently surprised when women reject them because they have never experienced it before and it stimulates a desire for something unattainable. These women frequently have issues with their father figures. Perhaps they feel compelled to compensate for their father's apparent absence by exerting excessive effort to project a positive image. As a result, whenever a man ignores her, it triggers painful memories from her youth. When a man completely disregards a woman, it can result in a full-blown crisis for the woman. And if they aren't good enough for one man, they may not be good enough for any man. They'll probably accuse you of being gay just to make themselves feel better. Being successful in content as a single person is like carrying a mirror in your pocket it reflects back to women their own anxieties. In fact, women will go to any length to prevent men like this from spreading the truth about them. For example, when men enter monk mode and discuss the character of women, most women become defensive and may even accuse men of being sexist or woman haters. You have the potential to cause a lot of harm as a contented single man, which worries them because you are lowering their chances of finding a good partner. When a straight male rejects her, her entire world is turned upside down. This causes her to doubt even her most basic ability. The difference now, in my opinion, is that all of Mikto's supporters have banded together to disseminate the word over the internet, and the movement has its own philosophy, language, and acronyms. Many women are having difficulty organizing and uniting the entire movement, which has been accelerated by the internet. In today's society, people can easily harass a man into marrying, after which the state will take his wife and children. However, as time passes, both successful and intelligent men become aware of the numerous social trends and legal constraints that work against them. Men like this are in high demand and put in a lot of effort. They are self-aware enough to know that focusing on women will lead nowhere good and that they should instead devote their time and energy to breaking into the top 20% of women who have the ability to make their own decisions. He is spending his time more wisely now. Merry people, on the other hand, are out there slaving away to save for a down payment and arguing about everything under the sun. The married man has to go through hell just to get laid once a week, whereas the single man is out there learning and building muscle. Women may appear to a young man to be the center of the universe, but older men advise you not to waste your time worrying about them. It's never worth the effort, and when you're older, you realize how much you missed out on because you were preoccupied with that one hottie at the gym. Don't forget to hit the like button to help spread the word about this video. Thank you for taking your daily dose of red pills and remember that a red pill a day keeps bad poker hands away, so have a good rest of your day and cheers.